But one thing that I do want to share with you guys is this cap. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. So today we are finally going to do a kitchen tour slash reveal. Okay, I have been working on my kitchen for the past, honestly, since I moved in, adding some little things to it. And so now I feel like it's, while it's not 100% together, it's good enough in order to do a kitchen tour. So let's go ahead and get into it. Before I do that though, I want to just show you guys what my kitchen looked like before when I first moved in, okay? So I wanna show you guys, as a lot has been done. We're gonna kind of do a recap of, you know, my previous kitchen videos and then we'll get into the final reveal. So stay tuned. Okay, you all, so let's get started. I am so just obsessed with my kitchen. I love how it came out. Okay, so believe it or not, before my cabinets, let's just talk about my cabinets, okay? When I first moved into the house, my cabinets were this, you know, standard builder grade wood color. They were honestly the same color as the floor. Um, and I mean, it just looked so outdated. There were no, there were no knobs or handles or anything. Like when I say basic, it was so basic. Okay. And I knew coming in that I wanted a white kitchen. Um, and so hired a team to come in and paint actually all the cabinets in my house. And they put on, um, these knobs, which I got from Amazon, and I will link that down below. But I actually love the way it came out. I feel like, um, so again, I've only, it's been like this, the cabinets have been painted for about six months. So I think eventually I wanna upgrade my knobs because I feel like, yes, this is gold and it's fine. It's done the job, but I want it to feel a little bit more luxe, okay? and so. As I was perusing on Amazon, I found actually another handle that I just feel just is a little bit more luxury. It's still gold, but it's that knurled um, type of pattern or texture. So we'll see, but moving on. <laughs> that will be an update at a later date. Um, what's interesting is that my kitchen, um, it's a very interesting, shape right it's very cozy it's very intimate um and i don't know i like it i still i think it's perfect for me so i kind of have this is not necessarily an, it you know it's a little bit of an island feel going on but you know i think it has everything that i need um less this is kind of like the feature wall which is why i keep like showing it so i just kind of want to go through certain things so i have a double it looks like a double oven but the top one is actually a microwave i'm so used to microwaving to being here so i was like wait i don't have a microwave but um i needed something to kind of fill this space went on amazon and found this uh faux pompous wreath which i love and i think it's perfect for you know now that we're you know it's still summertime but we will be entering fall and i think it's perfect so this is definitely something that can be around all seasons and yeah i just love the aesthetic that it brings um kind of going on this countertop i have my just 
recipe area here i have my fire kindle from amazon which i use to also look up recipes this was actually a gift um this utensil holder and i was so you know there's so many different shades of gold but i was so happy that it actually matched the gold knobs that i had perfectly so love that um here's my electric fireplace and or not fireplace my electric stove and then this is one of my favorite, favorite things that I purchased for my kitchen. So this is a knife set, okay? This came from Amazon. I know you've seen this, but I haven't seen too many people that have this particular one that I got. So this is actually rose gold. I thought it was gold gold, but it's rose gold. So it doesn't quite match, but it's still cute. It's still fine. So I'm keeping it. And then I got this beautiful... Um, like cheese board or cutting board for as a housewarming gift. So absolutely love that, okay? Um, there's a lot of like, you know, pots and pans that I've gotten. I'm scared to kind of open these drawers because, I don't know, it's just basic. There's not like a whole lot of, you know, there's just basic things going on in the drawers, okay? living they're not necessarily super coordinated they're organized but they're not super coordinated but one thing that i do want to share with you guys is this cabinet here with all of my dishes okay so let me know if y'all are hip to walmart okay time and table the time and table brand at walmart can get all of my coins i am so obsessed with their brand and so you know i just love so far i've really been getting into their dishes i need to look to see if they have more cups um but i just really love all of their dishes i love that it you know matches the aesthetic that i'm going for in the house like this is a beautiful plate and bowl set and it has it's so subtle like it's so minimalist but it's me at the same time so this is actually i eat i use this most often this set this black one here this is my favorite like it's black but it's just ugh, i just love it and then these i pull out when i'm baking so this is just like a you know a baking tray that you can actually put in the oven and it match these plates um i don't use these plates as much this is kind of like display purposes or china purposes but if i do run out of these dishes i will use that and then up at the top there there are some bigger bowls that i use when i am entertaining this set here actually came they're all um the set came together let me see if i can pull out a plate this is what like one of the plates look like, but they're all matching and the bigger plate is the same. But I actually, this was a housewarming gift that I got from, um, it was ordered off of Amazon. So I absolutely love, it's almost like an Asian inspired, you know, the square plates and square bowls. I love it. So um, uh, this is like one of my favorite cabinets. Like if I could just, I'm really debating you guys taking off this door and putting on like a glass door just so that I can see the greatness that is behind this cabinet. It doesn't deserve to be covered. <laughs> tell me I'm extra. Like, please tell me I'm extra, but it doesn't deserve to be covered for real. Like I want to be able to see the niceness. The problem is if I do this one, I probably need to do this one. And this this cabinet still got some work to do. But yeah. So this has all of my dishes. Um, and then this cabinet here is more glassware. The, the first two levels are okay. A lot of this stuff is old, came from my apartment. So I think if I was going to take this door off, I would definitely need to... It's some work I got to do, as you can see. But... Um, that could be a project for a later date but love that i do have a lot of cabinet space you guys so in the bottom i have pots and pans there pots and pans here this is just underneath the stove there's actually nothing under there at the moment i just don't feel need to put anything under there and then this is just extra stuff extra stuff that i don't use that i could probably donate so it's more so for storage and same with this there's really like i don't really have a whole lot in my cabinets i'm still like <laughs> i'm still trying to you know figure out what's needed i guess i'm just using this storage for a vase so um it's not really a whole lot um in these cabinets and i still have more here cabinets over here also have cabinets over there so i'm not gonna open up everything you guys but i don't know 
I just really, really like the vibes. Very pleased. This is like the focal point. Um, in one of my previous videos, I showed you the process of making this. So a lot of people, when I ask them, when you look at this, what do you see? People say nothing. Everybody doesn't have the eye for abstract art like I do, guys. This is actually my initials. So there's a B, a C, and an M. I don't know if anybody could see that, but that's, I didn't, I didn't do that intentionally afterwards, after I painted it, I was like, oh, that actually looks like my initials, but no one else really sees that, but it's fine. Um, and yeah, I mean, I have my, you know, I want to keep the counters very clear. So it's not really a whole lot of action going on over here, but I have my smoothies. I make a lot of smoothies. So use this on the daily. And then I have my, um, I actually use this pretty often too. My, what is this called? It's toaster. And then I just have it sitting on a like cutting tray just to kind of break it up from the dark countertops. Eventually I will, I'm still thinking about, cause I want white, you know, quartz, marble countertop so i'm still these are the countertops that actually came you know with the house when i bought it as well as the backsplash backsplash was already done came with it all i did was paint it the the cabinets white but this is where we are love it love it love it and this was also a housewarming present um my wine rack I really do like it. I needed something to kind of fill the space in between my mirrors. And I think that did the job that it needed to do. So love it. Obviously <laughs> I've been using it. <laughs> so I need to get some more bottles. Um, and then the bottles that are displayed are gonna be for special occasions or whatever the case is, but really do like this warm rack. So yeah, y'all. Short, sweet, to the point, but this is my kitchen. I'm obsessed. And I can start like taking pictures and stuff. It's a vibe. Okay. So there you have it, guys. I love, 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 love. I love my kitchen. I love it. I love my whole house. Like my whole house is a vibe and I have been doing a terrible job at um, keeping you guys updated on the progress. But you know what? We ain't got no baton. You know what I mean? Y'all ain't going nowhere. So, um, but yeah, I'm super in love with my kitchen. This is one of my favorite places. I can't wait to start using my recipe books because I do want to try to you know get some more signature dishes underneath my belt so I am just in love with the aesthetics in love with the vibe Ugh. so I hope you all enjoyed this tour be sure to like this video okay give me a thumbs up and subscribe okay we continue to grow I have a so many new subscribers so thank you so much for subscribing and i will see you all in the next video bye